Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to address in this video is a topic that sometimes gets very confusing, and I'm hoping to shed a little light on it. I'm really hoping to get you to ask questions and think about this down in the comments so we can have a conversation. So hopefully we can get everybody on board. And this is what a PV ID is on a switch and what an untagged VLAN is. I've got my notes that I've created to try to break this down a little bit. So if you've been dealing with switching, you know that PV ID is a port VLAN ID. And you'll hear people say, well, that's the, the default VLAN for that port. Yes, but what it does is the PV ID tells the switch which VLAN traffic should be forwarded to uh, and from on that particular port. And what's going to happen is the switch is actually, the switch itself is actually going to add the VLAN tag to the header when it sends the information. When the information comes in with that VLAN tag, it's going to strip it off or remove the tag when it's received. So it's the switch doing the, the tagging and untagging at, at the port level. An untagged VLAN requires no tags to be added to frames and pretty much devices that are in the untagged network or in an untagged network, they, they don't even have to be VLAN aware. Uh, <clears throat> they can be, but they don't have to be. Because if you're in the same VLAN, you can, you're in the same network, you can communicate and you don't care about VLAN tags, right? So... The PVID or the port VLAN ID specifies which VLAN a device or port belong to and how it should be uh, tagged when entering and leaving the port. The untagged VLANs allow devices to communicate without VLAN tags. Now, if you've ever configured a switch and you didn't set the PVID and the untagged VLAN to be the same, you'll know that that you had some issues, right? Because now you're getting into where there's VLAN information needed on uh, the frame. So in the majority for what we are dealing with here, typically the majority, the vast majority uh, of configurations that you're going to see here, the PVID, the port VLAN ID, and the untagged VLAN are going to be the same because when you start doing double tagged VLANs and stuff like that, they have a name for that. And it's really, uh, I'm not saying it's strictly a service provider. It's called Q&Q. &Q. So Q hyphen I N hyphen Q. Q and Q or double, double tagged VLANs. It's very common in the service provider world to do this. But, you know, some businesses do it as well. But we're not going to cover that. So if you've got questions about this and I hope this is a little thought provoking and helped you kind of think like, oh, hey, when I was setting this PVID, but I had this and things weren't working, maybe the, the gears will start clicking because you're going to need that when we get to these other switch videos. So, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links or becoming a patron on Patreon, those links are down below. And as always, if you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click hire us or contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.